Hi Virgos, Trishna here. Welcome to your October 2019 reading. So what I'm feeling for you is I feel like you have been through a lot emotionally and you are finally starting to feel better. I feel like you have let go of a lot of the emotional turmoil that you have been dealing with and you're starting to feel a little bit of a sense of relief. You're starting to feel a little bit better. You can kind of take a deep breath now, whereas before it was almost like you were holding it in or it didn't have any air to begin with. So I feel like you are starting to feel a little bit better. I feel like you recently went, were dealing with some kind of emotional hump or emotional situation. And since this is a general reading, I'm seeing two scenarios here. So for some of you, the worst is over and everything is going to get sorted out and everything is going to be fine and you're pretty much good to go. If not now, then in the near future. For others of you, I feel like there is going to be one more hump that is to come, one more emotional, tumultuous type of situation that is on the horizon that will come up within probably about the next four months. And, you know, for those of you who are in that situation, for those of you who are already over that hump, I feel like you are good to go. If this is a relationship, this is a good person to be with, if this is a job, this is a good job to stay in, you're in a good position. If you're in the situation where there's one more hump to come, you obviously don't know which situation you're in just yet, but you'll know within the next four months, then honestly, I would say that that situation is good riddance. It is not good enough for you. You deserve better. And it would be a good idea to let that situation go because it doesn't serve you. It's not for your highest good. And the universe just doesn't want you to have that anymore. It doesn't want you to deal with that because there's so much better out there for you. So if there comes up, if another emotionally tumultuous situation that is almost like the one that you've just experienced, it's of the same level of intensity and maybe it's almost the exact same situation repeating itself, Whatever area of life this applies to for you, whether it's a relationship or a job or family relationship, it's not for you. And so just keep that in mind as you're going, going through that when that occurs, if it occurs. So that's what I'm feeling for you with regards to that. I feel like October is going to be a bit of a difficult month, month because even though you have overcome a lot emotionally and you are on the easier side of things, emotionally with regards to your situation you know you have just dealt with a lot of emotional trauma and so you're feeling better but that doesn't mean that you're necessarily feeling great or wonderful and so when we've dealt with emotional trauma and we're starting to overcome that it is very common for our emotions to fluctuate from highs to lows to highs to lows so the next month, maybe the next few months, are going to be like that. You're going to have some periods where you're feeling amazing and good and like you can take on the world and you're feeling independent and whole and you're going to have other days when you are struggling and it's hard and it's difficult. And the thing is, is you are going to feel this for a little while, but you're not going to feel this way for forever. So always keep that in mind. This is not for forever. This is not always going to be how you feel. There will come a time when you overcome this feeling or situations change and make it easier for you to overcome the feeling. This is not forever. The other thing that I want you to keep in mind throughout this month is be very kind to yourself while you're going through this. When you're having your highs, enjoy the highs. Highs, when you're having your lows, let yourself experience those lows. Don't beat yourself up for it. Don't, don't hate yourself for it. Just experience it as it wants to be experienced. Just let it be what it wants to be. So be very loving in yourself no matter how you're doing, how you're feeling, what you're thinking, where your head's at. Always have compassion and love for where you are because where you are is where you need to be on your journey. So there's nothing wrong with it. Just do your best is all you can ever ask. So that's what I'm feeling for you for this month. The other thing that I'm picking up on is if you have a sister, I feel like your sister wants, there's something that your sister needs or wants. Like I feel like they either need to get something off of their chest or they have some advice that they really want to give you or they need some advice from you. So I would highly recommend that you call them. In fact, I would suggest that you call them right after you watch this video because I think getting in touch with them sooner rather than later 
is better because if they need to get something off of their chest, I feel like it's better to get that resolved now and I think that it will be relatively easy and this is a really good time for that and if they have advice to give, I feel like it would benefit you now and if they need advice, it would benefit them now. So after this video, I would suggest that you go ahead and call and just see what's up with your sister if you have a sister and take it from there. So that's what I'm feeling for you for October. I am going to be doing extended readings again for October and you can access that at www.patreon.com slash trishna and the link will be at the end of this video as well. And in that video, I'm going to go into more around the situation, more of the future potentials to come, some obstacles that are in your way and any guidance that you need to hear in order to overcome them and to make your journey as easy and joyful as possible. So thank you so much for watching. I hope I earned your like and your subscribe. If you're interested in the extended, I will see you there. If not, I will see you on my next video or in my next video on YouTube.